For a faster and reliable coin service, check out onefifa.com in the description down below. Also, for 5% off, use discount code GCAN5. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new episode of Pele Samba 2 Brazil. If you don't know what this series is, basically we start off with a full non-rare bronze side and we work our way up with every single goal that Pele scores. We have a little uh, a goal counter in the top right hand corner and we just have really good fun playing with all these uh, all these amazing players, particularly Pele. So uh, I do quickly want to say now guys, uh, apologies that it's taken me so long to get it up. I think it's been like 7 or 8 days since the last episode, so a big apology for that. Uh, I've just been super busy. I've been starting the new pack attack series and stuff like that, but this week you should expect to be getting a few more Pele Samba 2 Brazil episodes in your sub boxes. Uh, the, I was actually supposed to be uploading this on Saturday, but all the upgrades came out and I obviously need to get you guys that series straight away. But as you can see there, straight up Pele scores a lovely goal in this first game. This guy had a really poor squad chemistry wise, so every little bonus I could get was very, very helpful. And um, once again, a mistake there, really poor pass, May <laughs> allowed for another beautiful goal. Pele in this episode scores a ton of amazing goals. That one there, just first touch volley from a lovely like second touch chip through ball was great. And then at 2-0, he decided to rage quit, which means uh, Pele's two goals, as you can see on the screen there, meant that we have two new players upgraded and we can change the right back to Pablo, who uh, I believe plays for... I could be wrong there, quite possibly wrong actually. And we changed Felipe Saad to Alberis. Still a pretty poor centre back, which is 59 pace and not great uh, height really. Uh, but we go into our next game with relatively poor chemistry against this guy with uh, re relatively poor latency, I mean, against this guy with relatively poor chemistry. There we go. And um, he has an interesting team, as you can see on the screen here. Uh, he definitely could just switch some players around to get more chemistry. I mean, as, as simple as moving the CDM with the left mid would change it massively and stuff like that. But, oh well, he obviously knows very little about actually getting chem on here, which... Um, when you come up against players like that, you can get relatively confident that they're not actually going to be very good at the game. And uh, as you see here, Pele eventually nicks the ball away from him and easily puts it into the bottom right-hand corner. As you can see, this guy probably wasn't the best at FIFA, so it definitely did play to our advantage. We managed to get a lovely pass there from our goalie. You'll see a lot in these episodes. I do love playing those drop the ball with the goalie and LB and Y passes. But uh, Pele here, is, he skins the first defender, and then the second one was just way too easy. So I did a rainbow flick. I kind of felt bad for the dude and I was just overdoing the skills to the point of like rainbow flicking the last defender and stuff just for the sake of it I mean it was a nice goal but the defending was just absolutely dreadful so I, I kept trying to score goals like that and that meant it was only 2-0 at half time which possibly wasn't as good as what it could have been he didn't have a single shot on target I had 12 shots in total and it was it was one-sided to say the least but Wesley here uh, plays a lovely little pass to Pele there to stop the uh, stop the tackle and uh, he very nearly actually Wesley gets a bicycle hit there I thought I'd include the clip because he came so close if you'd made contact with that you'd expect it to end up in the back of the net but uh, he played a ball straight out from his goalie and I, I pressured him and obviously he panicked and Pele managed to nick in and uh, nip in and get himself that goal that was his third of the game his hat trick and Pele has basically scored every goal we've scored like he's been so open that way it does change a bit when we get better players but just every single one there you go that's his fourth of the game that's now 10 in total uh, for this series in what is this the fifth game so he's averaging two goals a game perhaps I think that's right which is a very very OP but uh, as you can see uh, Pele gets the ball again here and when you get the ball to him I just I don't see the need in giving it to anyone else when he can do that he just walked in from the edge of the box and just hit that in the top corner like it was absolutely nothing and then one last goal here for Pele uh, I, I tried to like outdo him with some little keepy uppies there it didn't really pay off but we still kept the ball and I just chopped around him and I just put it in the back of the net it was just too easy uh, and that that meant we ended up with 12 goals in this game and um they get uh, in this, uh, so far I mean 12 goals in total and 6 goals for Pele in this game and a 6-0 win. That meant we got to upgrade uh, 6 players. So we upgraded the goalie, obviously uh, we now have a non, uh, we now have a rare goalie. We upgraded the left back to someone who was actually worse. It was kind of a downgrade. The defensive mid to someone who actually ended up playing really well for us and that was Bruno Renan. Left mid I basically skipped the left mid and jumped straight to the inform. So that counts as 2 steps because uh, I had so many that I needed to skip to. And then we finished off with a silver centre back so we've got the only uh, only bronze uh, in form in the squad in Sydney who does have some really good games for us and uh, this is our team now at the end of this episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, leave a like if you did subscribe to this channel if you're new around here if we could reach 600 likes that'd be absolutely fantastic thanks again for watching guys have a nice day and I'll see you all next time bye bye